Hello, everybody! Welcome to Sing with Susie. It is our season premiere of our fall season, which I believe is our fourth season. Is that right, Cinnamon Bear? I believe it's four. This is our fourth season. We're so excited to be here with you. Cinnamon, did you have a nice summer? Yeah. What are some of the things that you did this summer? Oh, he went fishing and hiking. Oh, wonderful. Did you have any beach time? We had a lot of beach time this summer. No, cinnamon bears don't really like to lay out on the beach. They prefer the woods, right? Yeah. And the nice cool air, not so much the hot sun. <laughs> so welcome back, everybody. Please type in your child's name so that I know who's here so we can give you a shout out. We have a very special guest joining us today. Our special guest is coming all the way from Chicago. And you know who it is, right, Cinnamon Bear? Who is it? It's Little Miss Anne. We are so happy to bring her back to the Sing with Susie stage. Little Miss Anne is a regular special guest and really great friend of ours. And she's an award-winning kids musician, former Chicago public school teacher, and instructor at Chicago's iconic Old Town School of Folk Music. She's a mom and a first-generation Filipina American. And she's going to be here teaching us a song that she wrote a long time ago that she has recently re-released called Autumn Leaves. Isn't that right, Cinnamon? So we have some leaves, actually, that we're going to use when she performs her song with us. All right, friends, we have some friends who are here. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead and type in your child's name. Also, we want to admit mention that Sing With Susie is being viewed and listened to in over 70 countries around the globe, and we'd love to see where you're watching from. Sing With Susie, we celebrate diversity from all backgrounds and abilities, and everyone is welcome here. So let's go ahead and see who's here. All right. Oh my gosh, so many friends are here today. It's so great to see everyone. Special shout out to Augustus Green from Georgia. My mom is here from Charlotte, North Carolina. We have Jarrett is here. Hello, Jarrett. My friend Lori Burke is here. Hi, Lori. Rachel is here. Hi, Rachel. Ivan and Epo are here, and they say they're so happy that we're back. Thank you so much. We have more friends watching, too. My friend Arnold from Chicago is here. <laughs> My friend Esther Crow is here. Hi, Esther. And Esther also says hi to Cinnamon Bear. Um, Hannah and Levi say hi. Hello, hello, friends. Sophia Grace is here. Hello, Sophia from Minnesota. We also have... Teresa is here. Hello, Teresa and Stacy. Oh my gosh, so great to see you. We have Taylor from Dallas. Hi, Taylor. It's so great to see you. And Taylor is asking how our vacation was too. We had a wonderful time this summer. We had a nice long vacation. We did lots of fun things. We visited some friends in Chicago, including little Miss Anne, who will be here in just a few minutes. We also have a question of the day that you can think about while we do our first song, Cinnamon. And that question is, who is someone that is special to you? Hmm. Who is someone that is special to you, Cinnamon? <gasps> Penny. Yes, Penny is very special. And for some reason, Penny decided not to be up here in her us usual perch, but she'll be back probably in a little bit, right, Cinnamon? We might be able to get Penny back to say hello. So keep that question in mind as we do our first song and our first song of the day Cinnamon decided that we should share the story of how we met. And this is the story of Cinnamon Bear. Now, Cinnamon, where were you born? Oh, yes, in Yellowstone National Park, which is way far away, right? Cinnamon, so far from Brooklyn, New York. It's all the way on the other side of the country in Montana and Wyoming. And in Yellowstone National Park, there are beautiful trees and mountains and blue skies and water and animals. Animals that you might not see here in Brooklyn, New York. Animals like moose and buffalo and snakes and these little groundhogs that they pop their heads out really quick like this. What are those groundhogs called? Pikas. That's right. Little pikas. And there are also bears. Right, Cinnamon? There are grizzly bears. There are brown bears, there are black bears, and there are cinnamon bears. So here is the story of Cinnamon Bear. Go ahead and clap your hands along with us. And while we sing the song, you can 
can go ahead and answer this question. Here we go. Do you know what I saw? Eating berries by the time. He was brown and round and furry. And his name was Cinnamon. He was a bear, a cinnamon bear. And he was wild and happy and free. He was a bear, a cinnamon bear. And his heart belongs to me. Next day when I was walking, it was just before the sun. I felt like someone was behind me. Sure enough, there's cinnamon. He was a bear, a cinnamon bear. And he was wild and happy and free. He was a bear, a cinnamon bear. And his heart belongs to me. I said, you better head on home now. Wasn't sure if I should run. But this bear was going nowhere. Soon my best friend was Cinnamon. He was a bear, a cinnamon bear. And he was wild and happy and free. He was a bear, a cinnamon bear. And his heart belongs to me. Take it, Cinnamon. Having fun. Come fall, I had to go home and say goodbye to cinema. Now I'm back in New York City. A new school year has begun. I'll count the days to wear in Yellowstone. And I can see my cinema. He was a bear, a cinnamon bear. And he was wild and happy and free. He was a bear, a cinnamon bear. And his heart belongs to me. He was a bear, a cinnamon bear. And he was wild and happy and free. He was a bear, a cinnamon bear. And his heart belongs to me. And his heart belongs to me. And star belongs to me. Yay! <laughs> Aw, thank you, Cinnamon Bear. Thank you for sharing that story of how we met. And thank you, friends, for answering the question. Who is someone that is special to you? Let's find out some of the answers. I know that we have more friends watching over here too. So we have to say hello to some more friends. Oh my goodness. Such a great group of friends watching with us today. All right. Let's see. We have, um, oh, Pedro and Big Puppy Zoe are here. How nice. So nice to see you. And they say hi to Cinnamon. Oh, we have an answer from Ivan. Ivan's grandpa is very special to him. Thank you, Ivan. Rachel says her mom and dad, sister, and three dogs. Wow, Rachel, you have three dogs. My mom says, oh dear, I have too many that are special. <laughs> we understand. Oh, look, Enza's first thing with Susie. My cousin Danielle and her beautiful daughter Enza are watching today. Hello, Enza. Welcome, welcome. We have, let's see, Sophia says, my mom, my dad, and my sister, Ruby. Wonderful. And my mom says, hi, Enza. And Esther is there. Cinnamon is looking extra cuddly this season. What's your secret? Hmm. <laughs> what is your secret? <laughs> hmm. Taking regular baths. That is a good, that is a good secret to saying extra cuddly and extra fluffy. Oh, my friend Susan Fox from Park Slope Parents, our wonderful media sponsors, say you are special to me and you are special to me too, Susan. Very special. And hello to my friend Joey. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. Arnold says, my mom is having her special 90th birthday today. Happy birthday. 90th birthday to Arnold's mom. What a very special, special birthday. 
And we have my friend Stinky Toots. Hello. Welcome back, friends. I'm so glad you're still here. Taylor says, my mom, my dad, my brother, Patrick, and you, Susie, and Cinnamon Bear, and Julia, and his grandma and grandpa and uncle and aunt and girlfriend Kimmy. Oh, those were a lot of friends. Oh my gosh, Claire from Ireland is here. Hello, Claire. Claire has been listening to Waltzing Matilda. Oh my gosh, Little Miss Anne, that's your song. That's wonderful. Just in time for Anne to come on. All right, so Esther says cuddly and groovy moves. <laughs> All right, I think we've got that. Um, a couple more friends and I think that's it. Okay. Thank you so much for answering the question. Speaking of special people, we have a very, very special guest coming all the way from Chicago. If, if friends in the audience can please give a big, warm sing with Susie welcome to Little Miss Anne. <laughs> Hi, Anne, you're muted. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, Cinnamon. Hi, Susie. Great Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Everything is fine and dandy. Oh, we just had Cindy join us from uh, Straw. Yeah. Strawberry Yop. Hi, Cindy. Yep. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, Anne, why don't you tell us who is someone that is special to you? Well, my daughter, Olivia, is special Aww. to me. Yeah, she's in college, and I saw her last weekend. Hi to your mom. And <laughs> actually, the song that I'm going to sing is actually, <laughs> oops, um, it has to do with Olivia. Because when she was just a baby, I actually wrote this song when I was a young mom, with, uh, and I was in a band. And I wrote this song. It was a beautiful autumn day. And, um, oh, I guess I'm going to be singing it. So I'll sing the song. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Tell, it, tell us the name of your song. Oh, sure. It's called Autumn Leaves. And, okay, wonderful. And so this baby just turned 21. 21. And, so, yeah, and I just wanted to, I, I listened to the song. And I'm like, gosh, you know, I should, I should let, this is a good song for kids. So I'm re-releasing it. I love world. it. So you wrote it when Olivia was a baby and now 21 yeah. years later, you're re-releasing it. And I see you have a new instrument there that you're playing on this song. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of fall. Like it's kind of autumn. Like, Oh, and the thing that's cool about the uh, recording that made me really want to re-release it is that in the recording, you can hear the baby uh, like kind of giggling and it's, it's Aww. really sweet. It's, yeah. So it's just like life is just, you know, full circle. And, um, yeah, so that's the song. And Wonderful. Autumn, yeah, so that's someone to special me. And you have some great answers that are, are coming in, too, about special people in their lives. And it's great to acknowledge people in your own way, whether it's through words or whether it's through actions, and letting that person know that they're special to you. So that's it right. can be by, like, making them, you know, bring them their coffee. Oh, hello. Hi, Lisa. And hi to <laughs> other people. And thank you about the Waltzing Matilda. So. All anyway, right. should I sing this song? Yes, please do. Take it away, Anne. This is Autumn Leaves by Little Miss Anne. There we go. <laughs> that was a job, <drum>, sorry. <laughs> Autumn leaves fall on me. Autumn leaves fall on me. Unleaves fall on me. Unleaves, unleaves. Autumn wind blow on me. Autumn wind blow on me. Autumn wind blow on me. Autumn wind. Autumn wind, autumn day, it's my day, autumn day, autumn day, blow my way, autumn day, jack -o lantern light the night. Jack o' lantern, please light the night. Jack o' lantern, light the night. Jack o' lantern, 
Jack o' Lantern. Little baby, keep me company. Little baby, keep me company. Little baby, please keep me company. Little baby, little baby, autumn day, it's my day, autumn day, autumn day, blow my way, autumn It. And you're doing you know. such a great job rocking out on your electric guitar. We got some, yeah. we got some applause here from my mom. <laughs> and we got a mom comment from my friend Stinky Too Taha. Miss <laughs> Anne, it's not a question, but you are very pretty and good at the guitar. Well, that Aww. made my day. That <laughs> made my day. <laughs> and Esther says, woohoo, love oh, the song. No. So, Esther is one of your guests too. You're regular. That's so true. Esther's going to be on Wednesday, actually. So Ooh, I can't wait that. for that. We have a really powerful September. What, what did you say? I'm sorry. She's got a new song, too. A Halloween a new song. Halloween song. Yeah. Yes, I know. I can't wait for that to come out, too. Um, so if anybody has any questions for Anne, Ooh. go ahead and type them in while we talk a little bit about what you have going on next. What's next for you? Oh, somebody, somebody just asked a question. Oh. They said, Let's Little see. Miss Ann, did you grow up in Chicago? I oh. did. I am Chicago through and through. If you hear me say certain <laughs> words, you'll know I am a Chicago, Chicago gal. <laughs> but you have a Filipino background. So that That's means that true. your parents were born in the Philippines, yes. correct? Yes. Yes. Correct. Yes. correct. All right. All right. So if we have any more questions for Ann, just go ahead and type them in. And if not, Ann, why don't you tell us about the show that you have coming up this Sunday? I will. I'm going to be playing at a place called Evanston Space, which is a wonderful place. And they haven't had any kids shows for two and a half years. And my band will be the first one back and it will be a full band and it's going to be a lot of fun. So come on by if you live in Chicago. That yeah, sounds yeah, like so yeah. much fun. I wish we were going to be there, but. Uh, we will come to Chicago again very soon. I know you will in March. In March. Yay. <laughs> Can't, it seems so far away, but it'll be here before we know yeah. it. Yeah. We'll go to Wisconsin. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun and eat some cheese curds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me a brat. <laughs> so, and friends can find all of your new music, in including this new release of the song, correct? Correct. Yep. And they can find you on your website, littlemissand.com. And anywhere that you stream your music, you can find her new song, Autumn Leaves. Yeah. Let me just show the cover art real quick. It's such a pretty um, album. It's a, such a pretty song cover. Let's see if I can find it. I think I uploaded it to get ready to go right here. Ah, Autumn Leaves. I love it. And we have some leaves here, too, that we're going to do for our next song Those coming up. Pretty. Those so are pretty. We're, we're going to just check and make sure I don't have any more questions for you. Oh, oh, we do. We have a couple more questions. Wow. All right. So Taylor says, how are you doing, Anne? Hi, Taylor. <laughs> Great to see you again. I'm doing great. And I'm so flattered and happy to be here with Susie and their kickoff. This is so exciting. <laughs> you have so many good guests coming up. Thank so you. I can't wait to see the rest of your, your season. Thank you so much. And our last question Ooh. is my friend Rita says, when are we coming to oh, Florida? Actually, Rita, that's a really good question. We have to work on that. I think this might be the year. It might be a great year to come to Florida. So we'll try. We'd love to see you in Pedro <laughs> and puppy Zoe, who's I'm sure really big now. All right, Anne. Well, thank you so much again thank for you. being on the show. Thank you for being on the season premiere. We loved Yay. having you on and we hope to see you again very soon. Me too. Bye, Susie. Bye, Cinnamon. Bye, Thanks for having me. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>
Oh, that was so great. Please go to littlemissann.com and you can find out all about her and her upcoming shows. She's super, super busy performing out and she has a new single out called Autumn Leaves in addition to the rest of her amazing music. And speaking of leaves, we have a song that we're going to teach our audience, right, Cinnamon? Next, it's called Leaves Are Falling and I have different color leaves here. This one is what color is that? Orange. This one is red. This one is, do you know this one, Cinnamon? Yellow. That's right. This one is your favorite color, green. And this one, what color is that? It's brown. It's kind of the same color as your fur. So if you don't have any leaves at home, that's okay. You can make leaves with your hands like this. Yes, just like that cinnamon bear. And see if you can start up high and make your leaves fall slowly down. Yes, just like that. Leaves are falling. Leaves are falling to the ground, to the ground. Red and orange and yellow. Red and orange and yellow, green and brown, green and brown. One more time. Leaves are falling, leaves are falling to the ground, to the ground. Good job, Cinnamon. Red and orange and yellow. Red and orange and yellow, green and brown, green and brown. Yay! <laughs> thank you, friends. And thank you, Cinnamon Bear. Cinnamon's going to go hang out with Penny for a little bit, who is wanting to play with you, right? And we'll see you again another day. And while we say goodbye to Cinnamon Bear, just want to tell you who is going to be joining me on my show on Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be Esther Crow. And then next week on Monday, I have Kimberly Stewart returning all the way from California to share with us an episode of Miss Kim's Music Place. And then next Wednesday, the 28th, Culture Queen returns to grace our stage with her royal powers, and she'll be here next Wednesday. So we'll say goodbye to Cinnamon, and we'll see you another time soon. Thank you for hanging out with Penny Cinnamon Bear. <laughs> All right, friends, we have time for one last song before it's time for us to say goodbye. Thank you so much for tuning in again. It's wonderful to see you all again, and Taylor Julia will be a special guest very soon as well. She's very busy these days after school, but she will definitely be here again soon. So let's go ahead and end the show today. Oop, there we go. Having a little technical issues, of course, on day one. Let's go ahead and end our show today with a song reminding us that we all have the power inside to do good things for each other, to lift each other up, to help each other out, to spread kindness and to spread joy. And this song is called, Can You Feel the Power? Go ahead and if you feel like standing up on your feet and reaching your hands up in the sky, go ahead, there you go. See if you can get those hands up and clap. Join up, pain, and we all come together to be.
Can you lay it again, spread hope? Hope in the world, hope in yourself, every boy, every girl, go fly. Jump out and jump off. Remember your roots, be who you are, make a change. Change in the space, where doubt may live, you can always erase. Can you feel the power? Passion and fire. If you don't feel it now, then go get inspired. Don't wait and don't hesitate. Hate we can't devour. That's your superpower. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you again on Wednesday when we have my special guest, Esther Crow, joining us. And she'll be here maybe with one of her puppet friends. Also, just want to let you know that Lollapalooza is continuing. If you live in the Park Slope, Brooklyn area, you're welcome to join us from now until the end of October. And our media sponsors for Sing With Susie and Lollapalooza, Lollapalooza are our friends at Park Slope Parents. You can find out all the information you need about them at parksloparents.com. And just keep in mind that I'm going to be performing a special show at the Jewish Museum with my friend Fuch on Sunday, October 16th. That's an in-person show at 1030 a.m. If you're in the New York City area or planning on coming to New York during that time, be sure to check us out. That's going to be a really, really fun show. Thank you so much, friends. It's been a wonderful day coming back. It feels so great to be back. And thank you to Cinnamon Bear. And thank you to my special guest, Little Miss Anne. And we'll see you all again on Wednesday. Bye, everybody.